alive and remain. Uh, many years ago, I did a study on this very issue. Had it on YouTube. YouTube got offended. YouTube deleted it. <laughs> it's on my Rumble account. But I, it's a very important study where I get into the thing of um, when the resurrection happens, the body of Christ is resurrected. People call it the rapture. Uh, when it happens, um, the dead in Christ rise first, and we which are alive and remain shall be called up together you know, in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Um, we which are alive and remain. Why would it say and remain? It's kind of an odd thing. If I'm out here in the woods and I say, oh, wow, I just found the remains of a body over there. It's no longer, it's, you know, it's, it just remains over there. Does that mean I found the whole body or part of the body? Part of the body, okay? My theory is, and it, I go into great detail in the study. You can watch the study. Links will be in the description box. I can't put the link at the end, you know, because it's YouTube and it's, you have to go to Rumble to watch it because it's illegal here on YouTube. Um, but my theory is that when the rapture actually happens or the resurrection of the body of Christ actually happens, then there's going to be very few. John, when he's on the island of Patmos, it's just him by himself. Um, and that's what I believe is going to be happening here in the future. I think that the body of Christ is going to be uh, very small. At that point in time and it's going to work in two ways number one you're going to have all the false converts it's going to cost too much to be a christian in the future they'll fall away okay which is also prophesied in scripture i shall come a falling away first before the man of sin is revealed and before the body of christ is taken out he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way all right that's the body of christ um he who now letteth that's the holy spirit i'll say it this way until he be taken out of the way that's the body of christ uh, again, I have the studies to prove that. Um, the whole thing of, well, the Antichrist has to show up first before we leave. Nonsense, it's not true. Uh, the Antichrist didn't show up before John left. Remember that. Again, not getting into the, all the studies, turning your Bible to here and whatever. I've already done it in other videos. I don't need to continually repeat it over and over again. Uh, that's why we have all the videos stored here on YouTube, and you can watch those. And... But I get into all of this stuff in my study on Alive and Remain. And, um, you know, the Christian in isolation. I've talked about that. Loneliness in the life of a Christian. Um, you know, uh, what's the thing? The isolated Christian perfection or something like that. You know, you have to get away with Jesus Christ. That it's just the two of you. Having that fellowship. And, um... That's very important. So you can watch the video. I will post links to it in the description description box and then down in the comments, I'll try to put some links to it down there. But a very important study and I think very convicting. And I, again, I, my desire for that is I want people to think about it and think, um, how can I stand? Because it's going to get to a point where your job isn't going to matter and your you know, your career, your retirement, your bank account, your whatever. Um, I think it's going to get really crazy. I mean, the in the latter times that perilous times shall come. Well, that's written to a Christian. So I don't really think it's that perilous right now. I mean, it is in some areas, but there's no real peril to my life out here. Okay, um, I'm going to walk out here into the field area through the trees. Come out here. I don't know if it's raining out here or not. And under the trees, you're protected from the rain. I don't know if I want to go through this. I'll just turn around this way. Going through all of that. Pretty thick out through here. I'm going to get soaked. So I think I'll just go back through and hit the trail and go back that way. Our trail, not, you know, a trail that we're at someplace right now. This is my property. but. Anyhow, yeah, you can watch the Alive and Remain study where I go through the scriptures and we talk about this thing and it's a challenge. Um, it was a challenge to me to, to study that and then I'd like to challenge you out there to think about uh, not only your salvation but your sanctification and say, what if things really do get 
that bad? Am I going to be able to stand? Am I going to be able to um, survive what's coming without denying the Lord Jesus Christ? Without, without denying my faith? <clears throat> Am I going to be able to do that? Am I prepared mentally for it? You know, a lot of preppers, they get into, you know, I have to have seven years of survival food and, you know, all this other stuff. Uh, well, all of that can be taken from you. Not me, brother, because I'm armed to the teeth. I have all kinds of things in a bunker and it can still be taken from you. Some army invades, you're not going to be able to stand against an army. Um, everything can be taken from you. There's no such thing as being completely prepared. You say, well, then I won't bother preparing at all. I didn't say to do that either. All right, there's some things that I think you'd be very wise to prepare for. So, back around here to the big rock beside me. I've done studies on that sitting there and the one I did, I stood up on it, not in the summer months because there's too many leaves on the tree, he wouldn't see me. But anyhow, heading back here and then we need to head to the office. So I have a couple of good study notes done for these walk and talks, but it's supposed to rain today. It's very overcast, so I can't do them today. But um, I will be doing those in the future. Would appreciate your prayers. Um, as I try my very best to get out truth to people. So, but uh, check out the link. I will provide it, and uh, you can go and see that study and and see why YouTube deleted it. Um, I spoke heresy in the YouTube community. I've done that quite a few times. <laughs> but that will be it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, please leave your comments down below. And leave your thoughts. And don't bother me with a bunch of stupid nonsense against the quote-unquote pre-trib rapture. You know, if you really are looking for the truth, you can go and... Um, Watch the videos, watch the studies that I've done. I've answered all the different objections to the, quote, pre-trib rapture, the resurrection, the catching up before the time of Jacob's trouble. That's the actual title for it. And, um, you know, done uh, hundreds of hours of studies on that, uh, going through all the arguments. So if you want the truth, you can go find them. If you don't want the truth, well, then... Post your comments. A lot of times I just delete those comments because it's just trying to lead other people astray. You're calling me a liar and a deceiver and everything else. I have no time for that. So that will be it. And uh, thank you very much for watching.